Here's how you draw Fibonacci levels as a trader. First, find a bullish or bearish impulsive move. Select the Fibonacci retracement tool. Next, for a bullish impulsive move, you connect the first point to the low and then the second point to the high, and then you extend to the right. And for bearish impulsive moves, it's the opposite, where you connect the first point to the high and then the second point to the low. When the price retraces, then some of these Fibonacci levels could act as mini zones of support and resistance. They could also be used as better trade entries within a trend or even as take profit levels levels if it's a counter trend trade. If these are drawn in a strong trend, then a 23.6, 38.2, or 50% retracement levels are more likely to be tested. And if these are drawn in a slower trend, like a channel or a ranging market, then the 61.8, 78.6, or 88.6 levels are more likely to be tested. And for some technical traders, the 61.8 level is the most popular as it represents the golden mean ratio in Fibonacci.